If you'll recall previously, we set up an alarm trigger which used a simple presence detector. It shut off instantly when an object, the player avatar, exited the previously mentioned detector. That level of simplicity may be fine for some things, limited to a single graph, but we're going to make something considerably more sophisticated this time. We're going to use the finite state machine. Okay, what we need to do is uh, we need to replace our trigger activators with FSM activators. The finite state machine is a concept which allows a single state to work across the entire program. We can have a great multitude of states, but only one at a time will be functional. We'll select the on trigger enter and on trigger exit activators. Now we'll undock the inspector and specify a couple of states to use. The first one we'll call ready, since that's going to be our standby. Now if you click on the state selector, we can see that our FSM activator block has been set to that state. Yes, there it goes. Now, for our exit activator, that's going to be set to the alarmed state. Hmm. Actually, let me think about this for a moment. Yes, come to think of it, we don't need it. We're going to do it another way. Let's let's delete that thing. And instead of it, we'll use the FSM activator on state enable. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. Now we're going to set that one to the alarm state. And now we'll move all those blocks a bit further aside because we'll be adding another new block. Now this new block is going to be a set current FSM activator. When the trigger is entered, that block will change from ready to alarmed, and this activator won't have any work anymore. Until then, the ready state will be assigned. We need to set that state at program start. Do you follow me so far? It's simple. And uh, for that to work, we're also going to need an awake block which shall connect to set current which we copied and pasted from our existing one in case you were wondering now let's make it do something interesting we'll copy paste that, spa that state setter block one more time then we'll connect our alarmed state activator to it and you'll see what those little pluses on the links can do cool context menu We'll make this action a 15 second delay. You'll note that you can drag your cursor left or right when depressing the button and it'll increment or decrement that way. Now I'm using the keyboard here. What's going to happen is, once the state changes to alarm, it'll stay that way for 15 seconds and then switch back to ready. Let's preview. Oops, it looks like I forgot to connect the links. We'll need to connect the true output link from our FSM activator down below to the false input link of our trigger state checker. There we go, fixed. Let's wait a little for the light to stop spinning. We made it so that it stops after 15 seconds of inactivity at the trigger. There, it's off. And let's activate it again. And now it's on again. The light has resumed spinning from where it left off. Might be easier to see with gizmo visibility on. Note how the set value block has a check mark on it when the light is on. Actually, it's the other way around. I guess, uh, I guess another thing worth noting is that walking into the trigger while the progress is still active is going to refresh the progress. See how the blocks flash. Anyway, there you have it. Pretty cool, isn't it? It remains to be said that the finite state machine is a fairly interesting concept and it can in turn be used to do some fairly interesting things. As you can see, it's also quite easy to set up. Thank you for watching.